Hi, my name is Jennifer. And um, my name is Frankie. I'm 26. Uh, my family's uh, Hispanic uh, from Nicaragua, and I'm, I'm a straight male. I'm going to ask a little questions about yourself. So tell me about your attitude towards sex and how it has changed throughout your life. Um, so, okay. So when I was growing up, um, obviously, like, my parents are Catholic, and um, I went to Jesuit school for the most part. Um, everything was pretty strict. Uh, Jesuit school is a little bit more progressive, so, I mean, they taught you about birth control and, and things like that. I even saw a video of abortion in mm -hmm. high school. So things were a little stricter growing up. Um, I went away to college, uh, to Cornell, New York, and obviously, like, it's a little bit more liberal up there, mm -hmm. um, and obviously in my 20s, I'm kind of more, I, I discovered more things about myself. Mm -hmm. um, question number two, tell me about the attitudes about your parents had, and how they differ from yours. Uh, my parents have been a little different. Um, I have uh, an older brother and older sister. Um, with my sister, they were a lot more stricter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my brother went out on dates with her and things like that. Um, with the guys, my parents have been more lenient. Um, so my parents talked to me about sex probably well when my sister got married. Um, and then my it was mostly my mother. Um, she didn't really talk like very specifically about it. She was just kind of like, you know, use birth control, don't do anything stupid, and bought like a box of condoms for me. That was pretty much it. So she made you always practice like safe sex. Right. I see. Okay. Um, tell me about the culture, like the people in your culture. Is it like different? Um, yeah. So I guess. Um, like how they feel towards sex. Yeah, I, uh, Nicaraguans are very conservative about sex and sexual. Uh, for the most part, um, but it is uh, there is a bias towards men kind of doing being more open and kind of like exploring and stuff whereas like promiscuity for women is kind of looked down upon mm -hmm. um so yeah i've seen that even within my own family it's more liberal for males and a lot more conservative for women and i guess that just tends to be like the view of my parents generation okay do you have kids uh no i don't have any kids right now okay um it says here like how would you approach the subject of like sex towards like your kids Growing up, like, um, you... Yeah, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, if I had kids right now, especially when... I think kids are always going to be curious about, like, where babies come from. So, I mean, I see with my sister and my nephew that, I mean, they they don't really talk about sex, but they, they kind of have an idea of, you know, mom and dad make a baby. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. But if I had kids, I, you know, a lot of kids now, it's in pop culture and in music and things like that. So, I mean, it's kids are trying to grow up too fast now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would kind of take the same approach my mother did with me, you know, kind of just to be careful and, and, um, and, and just kind of, like, try to guide someone in the right direction and, and just obviously speak to them. Uh, you know, see, see if it's actually something that they're ready for emotionally or not. I see. Okay. Um, can you tell me, like, what's the worst thing about being a guy? Um, the worst thing about being a guy when it, in relation to, your, I guess, to picking up women is probably... Well, it, it's, it's a lot easier to just get rejected flat out. Mm -hmm. um, that and also th the worst part of it is probably the waste of time. Because there's a lot of girls who, I'm not saying every girl does this, but, you know, it's kind of like um, some girls will just go out or, or, like, flirt with guys to get drinks or, you know, will waste their time just to go out on a couple dates and have a good time. Um, and obviously, like, growing up, that's not the most obvious thing to you. Mm -hmm. So probably that's, that's probably the hardest part is kind of seeing, well, A, dealing with rejection, and then B, um, you know, learning to to see, you know, who's wasting your time or other things like that. Um, what are your views on homosexuality? Um, you know, that's something I, I guess, like, I obviously I think that everyone, like, deserves to, you know, um, to love somebody. Uh, you know, that's something that I'm not really 
I don't really have like 100% definite views on it. Um, obviously, you know, from going to an all-guy school and and obviously being on the swim team growing up and in college, um, there were gay kids, but they were still my friends. And I mean, I don't really see it as, I've kind of learned that, you know, some kids are just kind of born that way, where mm -hmm. it seems like, you know, they have characteristics like growing up and, you know, whatever, that's their orientation. So to me, it doesn't really bother me. Um, you know, it's, it's not something, I'm, I'm not really sure if sexuality is something that comes from, you know, like, do you learn it or if you're born with it? But in terms of like, you know, day to day, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, that's how, you know, what people, um, basically that's just human nature and that's just something that, that is natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are your favorite parts of the opposite sex? Like, um, so I guess guys are very visual. Um, so I tend to like girls with curves. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not as afraid to say that I like, I like, uh, my favorite part of, of females, a butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. I have another question. When was the first time you discovered you were attracted to women? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I was probably when I was a teenager, um, I was probably around, you know, obviously I was in a swim team growing up, so, you know, guys, girls, etc. Um, probably I realized it maybe when I was, like, 12, 12, 13. Um, obviously there was a girl who liked me and I kind of liked her, but I was just like, okay, what do I do now type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I mean, it wasn't anything ever serious. Like, obviously I didn't have a girlfriend when I was 12 or 13. And then, like, we were really good friends and things like that, but obviously we liked each other, but that was, like, the... Did you guys ever, like, kiss or anything, or...? Um, not really. Um, every time I hung out with her, like, her parents were around and things like that, so, like, I guess her parents... Her parents were kind of like mine. They, they were like, okay, I don't want things to... You, know, you guys are too young and, and things like that. But it, it was probably, yeah, when I was around, like, 12 that I realized that. That's good. Okay, and then the last question I have for you is, how old were you when you had sex for the first time? Um, so I was kind of a late bloomer compared to some people. I was I was 19 um, when that happened. Okay. Well, thank you, Frankie, for your introduction today. Yeah, thank you.